Good morning, CHS. We hope everybody had the best snow day. That blizzard was insane. It was insane. I can't believe it snowed two feet. So as you all know, this week we'll be highlighting National School Counseling Week. And this week we'll be paying tribute to all of our amazing counselors here at CHS. Each day, thanks to Mr. and Mrs. Bergman and the rest of the counselors, you'll have an opportunity to learn more about the counselors and what they do for all of us. Today we have two videos for you featuring both our South and Central Wing guidance counselors. First, let's start with those South Wing guidance counselors. Hi CHS, I'm Mrs. Schrager, and I'm one of the counselors in the South Wing. I've been a counselor since 2007, and I've been at CHS since 2017. If I had to describe my role in three words, I would say that I'm a resource, an advocate, and a coach. Hi, my name is Laura Burns, and I have been working as a counselor since 2015. I joined the CHS Counseling Department in January of 2017. If I had to describe the role of the counselor in three words, it would be support, empower, and prepare. I'm Ms. Vesta Salerno, and I'm a counselor here in the South Wing of Clifton High School. I'm also a very proud Clifton High School graduate. I've been in Clifton High since 1993. I started as a social studies teacher and I taught CAST. Then I became a counselor. If I have to describe my job in three ways to narrow it down, the first thing I would say is student support. We're here in the counseling department to give you academic assistance, to make sure that you have everything that you need for graduation, and we're here with career planning. Whatever the choice is, whatever route you want to take, we're here to make sure that you're prepared for whatever your next step will be after high school. Second, I would say we're essential. The counseling department acts as part of a team. We work with the administrators, the student assistance counselors, the teachers, the secretaries, and the nurses. We work together to help you in any way that we can so you could be the best that you can be in school and help you on your path as you go from sophomore year to senior year. And finally, rewarding. I love my job and the best part of it is that I get to work with students all the time. They keep us young, especially me, and it's very rewarding to follow the path to see them go from sophomore, senior, graduate, and then begin their careers, start their families, and stay in touch with us. And it's very, very touching, very rewarding for us to know that we were a part of that. Thank you. Wow, that was awesome. Now let's take a look at our Central Wing counselors. And I've been working in education for a long time, since the early 90s. I've been at Clifton High School for about 13 years now. And why did I become a counselor? Um, I like working with teenagers. I like planning for the future, seeing what the possibilities are, helping people figure out what they're good at and what they like and what they want to do. So hopefully I get to do that with my students. Uh, I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye. Hi, I'm Andrew Kessler. Uh, I've been a counselor in Clifton for 17 years. I've always loved the quote from Gandhi uh, about becoming the change you'd like to see in the world. And I became a counselor to try to be the kind of person that I would have liked to talk to for help and advice when I was younger. Hello, my name is Attilio Venturelli, and I'm a school counselor at Clifton High School. So I've been in the Clifton Public Schools for 36 years. I started in 1984, I know, shocking, quite a while ago. 
So I, in my career, I was the first a teacher. I have elementary education certification. So I taught for five years at Christopher Columbus. Then I transferred and I taught for four years at Woodrow Wilson and all the subjects. Then I decided to go back for my master's degree in school counseling at William Patterson in Montclair State. And so I became a school counselor and the opportunity arose and I spent six years at Christopher Columbus. Then another opportunity arose to transfer to the high school where I've been for 21 years. I became a school counselor because my basic nature is to try to help people, try to listen, you know, try to be understanding, look at all the possibilities, the sides. And that's why I became a school counselor and it helps me tremendously in my current career because as a counselor there's just every possible situation that comes up that we always try to do our best to handle help assist in any possible way so i'm proud to say i'm a school counselor at clifton high school the finest school there is that's for sure thank you so much counselors. Personally, I have to give a huge shout out to my favorite guidance counselor, Mrs. Vesta. Thanks for all you do, Ms. Vesta. Tomorrow, we'll be featuring the North Wing counselors, so make sure you check it out. Today, we have a true or false question for you all. So, true or false? Does my Nana make the best carrot cake? <laughs> we'll tell you the answer at the end of the show, but for now, let's get into some morning announcements. Math League will be having its fifth contest on Wednesday, February 10th at 2.35. Even if you missed the previous contest, you can still participate. Join our Google Classroom with the code on the screen or email Mrs. Kelso for more information. Anyone who is paying cash only for the yearbook may do so tomorrow, February 4th, and or Friday, February 5th from 1.30 to 2.30. Please look at the Class of 2021 Google Classroom to sign up. Hey boys, interested in playing the cross? Send an email to Coach Cowan at gcowan at cliftonschools.net and simply join the Google Classroom with the code on the screen. Attention all esports players. Sign up for FIFA, Madden, Rocket League, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Join with the Google Classroom on the screen for more info. Attention boys interested in playing baseball this spring. What are you waiting for? Join the Google Classroom page right now. And now, if you couldn't guess, our very own Nick Plascon is here to give us the latest news in sports. Take it away, Nick. How's it going, CHS? I hope you all had a nice day off yesterday, but it's time to dive right back in. Let's check in on our teams. Hockey has their next game Friday at 3 o'clock against Paramus Catholic. Bowling has a match today at 3.45 against Passaic. They also have a match Friday against Eastside at 3.45. Girls basketball has a game tomorrow at Passaic Valley at 4 o'clock. Boys basketball also has a game tomorrow against Wayne Hills at 4 o'clock. That's it for sports today. Make sure you bundle up if you're heading outside and stay warm, CHS. I'll see you all next time. Thanks, Nick. I don't know what we would do without your sports updates. Before we answer today's true or false question, we have a few congratulations in order. Congratulations to Evelyn Kravick, Thomas Ortega, and Harsh Papardi for qualifying for the DECA State competition. And another congratulations to Rawan Awadala, Evelyn Kravik, Harsh Prajapati, and Devin Desai for qualifying for the FBLA State Championship. Good luck, everyone. So, today's question was, true or false, my Nana makes the best carrot cake. And now for the answer to today's true or false question. The answer is true. I can guarantee you on that one. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Deborah. And I'm Bree. And, and have, have a, a National, National Carrot Cake Day Wednesday. Wednesday.